from Swiss Watch Expo. Spotlight on, the Rolex Everose Gold. We tell you what makes Rolex's patented rose gold, so special. By now, you're probably familiar with the plethora of names for rose gold. Pink gold, red gold, king gold, and even the obscure magic gold. Differently named, but all warmer alternatives to silver and yellow gold. But we're sure you'll agree, none of them stand out as much as Rolex's Everose. Fancy name aside, there are a few key factors that set the Rolex Everose apart from other pink-colored gold. We give you three reasons why the patented, trademarked, and proprietary gold, that Rolex developed on its own, is truly a cut above the rest. First, it's made in Rolex's in-house foundry. While it's standard practice for watch manufacturers, to get their metals from suppliers, Rolex makes its own today. Rolex being Rolex, they wanted to own every part of the manufacturing process, instead of relying on materials that are available in the market. During Patrick Hinniger's leadership at Rolex from 1992 to 2008, they began to build their own, state-of-the-art foundry. They started with manufacturing solid link bracelets, and evolved into making entire watches. Having their own foundry allowed them to massively improve quality control, and further improve the base materials used in their watches. Using highly guarded formulas, and working with top-notch foundry men, Rolex now creates the exclusive, and patented 18 karat gold used for its watches. Yellow gold, white gold, and of course, Evero's gold. Second, the Evero's gold has a mix of platinum. The platinum helps hold the color for many years, and ensures that the luster endures, hence the name Ever Rose. Rose gold is created by mixing gold with copper, which gives the metal its warm, reddish hue. However, frequent exposure to elements, such as UV rays, sweat, salt or chlorine water, causes the copper to fade eventually. To preserve the beauty of its rose gold watches, Rolex put its foundry to work. By mixing the alloy with platinum, the most noble chemical element, Rolex not only made the color last longer, but also gave it a slightly stronger color, and even bluish nuances that makes it unique. Lastly, Rolex made sure that the Everose gold appealed to both men and women. Rose gold may have a feminine image attached to it, but Rolex had a strategy in place to change that. They first launched the Everose gold in 2005, with a watch that has a masculine reputation. The Rolex Cosmograph Daytona, reference 116505. The iconic racing chronograph, had a tough sporty look but was given added warmth and refinement by the pink gold. Today, Rolex Severo's gold is used in dress watches such as, the Day Date, and the Date Just, but also in sporty models, such as the GMT Master, and the Rolex Skydweller. It has also gained universal appeal, becoming a favorite among men and women of all ages, from sports, fashion, music, and entertainment. So, what's your favorite Everose watch? Tell us in the comments section. Want more? For the best and the latest in watches, head over to the Watch Club by Swiss Watch Expo. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.